Hello, very pleasant day here in Mayo in the west of Ireland. A little overcast, but uh, quite warm. So I'm just going to do a quick update on what's been happening. Uh, it's, and uh, I've been finishing paint in the back of my house, but um, yeah, a little bit of a dilemma I'm going to show you just now and uh, I want to get your opinion. Uh, I think the colors clash too much, but uh, we, we, we'll have a look anyway. Uh, also, I'm going to be making some blackberry wine this year. Now I have a little bit more time on my hands. Uh, we have a, we have an abundance of blackberries around here. I have plenty on my property and in the Boreen and my friend has loads as well. So nobody seems to pick them these days. I don't know whether they don't have the time or they can't be bothered. I don't know, but uh, I shall definitely be picking them. I'm going to pick as many as I can and uh, what I can't use I shall freeze. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be making some blackberry wine uh, uh, this year. I think the season starts the end of this month or early, early uh, September. So um, when I'm ready to start, I shall be, uh, I shall be showing you this. So um, also I'm going to do the video on the, on the digging machine, but uh, my friend is going to come and work, operate the machine while I take a video, which would be much better. You know, it's, it's not easy trying to make an action video on your own. So uh, he's going to be coming in a few days time and, uh, and give me a hand. So without further ado, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the back of my house and I can show you what I've been doing. Okay, so here we are at the back of the house now and as you can see I've been painting all through here and uh, yeah, all completed. Now this is the part here I want to show you. I'm coming on to the, well, I call it a boot room. It's a rather a, a posh name for a bit of a tin shed, but uh, it functions very well as a boot room. Um, and as you can see, I uh, have a, a nice tongue and groove door on here. Uh, I've painted it yellow, the same as the front door. And because the structure is corrugated iron, the same as the roof, and I had roof paint, uh, I've painted it green. And I just don't know. I I think the I think the green contrasts too much with the yellow, and I'm sort of thinking of painting it white, you know, to match him with the rest of the walls. What 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 do you think? Um, yeah, I, I just think there's too much of a contrast between the green and the yellow there, and I think between the white and the yellow would be a, a softer contrast and same as the front door I, I think the the front of the house is very successful with the front door so yeah I'd appreciate your comments and uh, yeah I I just really don't like that at all so anyway we'll we'll see we'll see how we go anyway this is the old man in the cottage here and I'm his uh faithful assistant. I helped him do some of his roof work here and we're visiting here now in uh, county, beautiful County Mayo and uh, uh, for a holiday so he's having his first barbecue uh, with his cousin. Uh, so we had a we had quite a bit of discussion about this barbecue in the very early days. I said to this old man that uh, where was he going to put his barbecue stand you see so he said, ah, oh, I'm never going to have barbecue in County Mayo. The weather here isn't suitable for it. You're talking rubbish, but the weather is here now and we're enjoying the outdoors and we're cooking outdoors and the old man is happy and he accepts now that he was wrong. What? Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah, it's not going. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mayo and this beautiful spell of weather we're having absolutely incredible but um, I've taken a break from the work and as you see I have my relatives here from Dublin with me and uh, I'm having a great time I've actually it's like a holiday for me 
uh, yesterday we went to Mayo, uh, not Mayo, what am I talking about? I'm in Mayo already. I went to Arkell. Arkell, sorry. Arkell. 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 <laughs> People were thinking I was saying Arkell, but Arkell. So uh, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I'm living in a beautiful place here, but Arkell, yes. Arkell, yeah. Arkell is absolutely incredible. Mm. And I I met my other cousin there, my how do you call it? Second, second, first second first cousin once removed. First cousin once removed. Uh, I, I don't. Have You've got to get the terminology that. correct. But, but yeah, and but absolutely fabulous. Yeah. The beach was lovely. I mean, really nice. I mean, on a par with any anywhere I've been in the world. And as a lot of you know, that I've done extensive traveling. Uh, the Caribbean, uh, Southeast Asia, Indian Ocean. It's definitely on a par with anything I've ever seen. Uh, and the weather was fantastic. So so that was the real bonus, you know, and it was lovely. So yeah, I'm having a great time here. And uh, I don't know whether you can tell, but I've already had a beer or two. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. And uh, we're ready to start barbecuing now. So I'm the, the cameraman here and I, I've uh, been here with Peter before. It's actually over 12 months since I was here. And I helped him with his first roofing job, which was this lean-to lean -to here. And then I helped him with the main, the, the roofing job on the main cottage. But it's actually 12 months since I've seen the place, over 12 months actually. And I'm just blown away by the, 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 the progress and how brilliant the place is looking I'm, I'm absolutely astounded he has done a fantastic job and uh, he's uh, enjoying the fruits of his labor now with a nice beer and a, we're gonna we're gonna have the the burning meat ceremony shortly <laughs> and uh, we, we're gonna have a nice evening Unfortunately, I didn't, uh... so we're starting our barbecue here now and we have a few corn and the cobs on and um, Peter, or the old man, tells me that when he lived in South Africa, they they did a lot of barbecue over there. They call it bryflace, I think. Bryflace, which translates literally into burnt meat. But um, <laughs> my myself and my brother, who lives in County Cork, we we've always called it the burning meat ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so you don't you don't want to interfere too much. Um, you're getting a good shot of that now, mm -hmm. yeah, Joe. Uh, what a smell. Yeah, you can smell it. Special because the wind is wafting up. Ach, Mania, this is a bright place. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the Afrikaans accent. Go on, try again. Ach, ach, man, it's a bright place. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do it properly. It's uh, not the same. It's getting a bit cool here now, but... We're layering up. Ah, oh, it's okay. No yeah, problem. Yeah. We're well insulated. Got a few beers down as well, mm -hmm. so no problem. May me pan ha, as they say in Thai. <laughs> say again? May me pan ha. What does that mean? It means no problems, basically. All ah, right. Or okay. it's not a problem. Okay. The smell is just absolutely brilliant. Locally made sausages here from the local butchers. Some uh, chili and black pepper, I think, and then the pla there are pl some plain ones as well. Doing a bit of chicken and some uh, barbecue skewers, and this is just the first course. <laughs> or vegetable skewers, I meant to say, not barbecue skewers.
hope you can hear me over the machine, but um, very difficult trying to take action shots, but uh, this is what I've been doing. Been, um, this little machine is fantastic. I've been picking up these big stones from around the property. And as you can see, it's been lifting up some quite big stones. There's a particular big one there that I'm pointing at now. That must, that must be over 100 kilos, 150 kilos. And uh, most of these, these stones here I, I couldn't pick up. So, um, so yeah, it's been a huge boom just doing the wall. And I'm almost finished now. There's a, just going to put a few small, smaller ones there to level it up and fill some of the gaps. And here we are through here. I just need a few bits and pieces to level this up here. And as we come around here now, I'll just finish my coffee there. <laughs> uh, I just need a few little stones just to tidy this up because trying to find flat stones is very difficult. So yeah, another few hours work should see my uh, my dry stone wall finished. And there's uh, my uh, impromptu barbecue. But, um, or a temporary barbecue, but I've, I've got a feeling it's going to be a permanent barbecue because it seems to, to work very well there. So, yeah, let, let's see how it goes.